In the United States, on average, a CEO makes more than 300 times what an average worker earns. Recent studies predict that a tax reform will lower both wages. On one hand, we're going to have that they're going to reduce, they're going to have reduced the incentive to work. On the other hand, we're going to have more jobs. The overall effect is going to be positive to the economy. However, the question is, which wages are going to be reduced more? The ones of the CEO or the ones of the average worker? My research accounts for those differences. My research includes income inequality. It shows that the wage of the average worker is going to be lowered disproportionately compared with the one of the CEO. It's going to bear a larger proportion of the tax burden. Additionally, we have to balance that we have more jobs, but less money in people's pockets. So nobody is going to be benefited with that at the end in the economy. Policies now deemed negative for the economy, such as progressive taxation or unemployment insurance, could actually be optimal in order to do things. Prevent that the income inequality will raise and also will keep the economy on shape. I hope that my research will help policymakers to make the right decisions, not only in order to produce policies that are effective, but especially to prevent the rise in income inequality. Thank you.